I'm Sam Clark with Crimson Education, and we're here at Middlebury College to ask some big questions. Uh, what's the best thing about Middlebury? Uh, I'd say all the people are really helpful, uh, a lot of good teachers, and uh, just really helpful people, a great community. I'd say the best thing about Middlebury is the accessibility to the outdoors. Um, I think the best thing about Middlebury is the students. I like the students, people I hang out with. Um, we have a ton of fun together, so I enjoy the school a lot because of that. The views. I think that it's a beautiful campus, but probably one of the most beautiful places I've ever been in my life. Well, the food's really good here, but um, <laughs> the professors are also really cool. They get to know you. They like know your name after the first week, so it's a, not like a big school, so it's nice. Um, I would say the environment, and just like where it is. I really like going to school somewhere it's so beautiful. Um, this is definitely a cliche answer, but definitely the place. I'm from New York City. It's something, um, the landscape, the, the fall colors, the trees. The, the Vermont aura is something that you don't really get in New York and I'm really glad that I go to school here because Vermont is truly one of a kind and Middlebury is situated in, in, uh, in this really amazing landscape um, that is Vermont so I'm really great, grateful for that. Uh, what's the worst thing about Middlebury? The hyper wealthy sort of um, boarding school culture that exists here. Gotcha. Um, the racism. It's um, really white, and people don't really think about um, how exclusive this place is for certain historically marginalized groups. It's still very homogenous in a lot of ways. Um, and then we also, as a community, sometimes don't do a good job at addressing that. The worst thing about Middlebury is probably when it gets really, really, really cold and windy, and I don't want to put on like big boots. I try to wear my slippers and walk to the dining hall, and I can't get up the hill. Uh. It's pretty cold. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I can't feel my hands. So, uh, in a similar vein, I would say the weather it can get really cold. So Agreed. that's tough. Agreed. That'd be the worst thing. Uh, I want crutches, so it's very hilly, a little tough to get around. That's sorry, I'm sorry. Right. Condolences. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, what do you typically do on weekends? Sometimes partying. Sometimes going to the bars. Uh, I'll, I'll be at there only two, so you can only. Go to them so many times, um, and uh, hanging out with friends. Um, so just you know, going on a brewery tour, maybe something like that. Um, going to Burlington occasionally. So that's those are some of the things that I do with my friends on the weekends. Um, sometimes I just um, stay in my dorm and cry. No, um, I um, yeah, you know, um, like I think I just kick back with my friends. I think that's the social scene here is like really whack with a capital like. H or W or whatever letter in there has most emphasis on that. Um, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Usually have some uh, practices or whatever with the team. Uh, and then go hang out with friends at night. When it was warmer, we'd, we've been on a few hikes together, um, camping and stuff. Uh, the school like throws a lot of concerts and stuff, so there's usually a lot to do. Um, and last question, what did you write your college application essays about? I wrote it about cleaning other people's toilets. Yeah, I was a maintenance man and talked about learning life lessons from the guy I worked with. I believe I wrote it about um, spending a month in the Allegheny National Forest in Pennsylvania, um, camping and building a trail. Uh, yeah, a trail that stretched like two miles. It made a big, really big metaphor about life that was really abstract about it that I don't remember, but it was dope, apparently. <laughs> Oh, I wrote mine about um, bringing Relay for Life to my high school um, and kind of what I learned from that. I think I, I wrote it about my um, brother, uh, who has a host of different uh, disabilities, um, and just like the impact of that relationship on my life um, and what that has taught me. Something along the lines of what I, something about hockey, something, about, something like not unbelievably good, but you got <laughs> But here you are, <laughs> hockey. Uh, do you guys, does the hockey team have a cheer? Um, no. Or like a, a chant? I guess there, there's one. Uh, it's like, cheer boy, cheer, Middlebury, cheer, fight boy, fight, fight for all your might. Cheer boy, cheer, Middlebury, cheer. It'll be a hot time in the old town tonight. Hey, hey, hey.
Okay, you you you, <laughs> you really misled me by saying that there's not a cheer. That was a full cheer. I mean, it's not like it's it's what they did back in the the, the day. It's not like uh, as it's not. As I see. Okay. Okay. Anymore. Not not as much now. Okay. Yeah. That was good though. Uh, anything to add? Oh, I got nothing. Amazing. Uh, have a great day. Thank you. You too. All right. If you liked this video and want to learn more about top colleges, don't forget to subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. It's subscribe button. My lips don't work because it's so cold. He has gloves. He has gloves and built-in earmuffs and a scarf. I tried to give you gloves. I don't. Look at it. Look at my knuckles. Let's take him home. Let's I can't. I can't. Let's take him home.